The John Ennis Centre is one of the world leading centres for plant microbial research, so we address issues of food security, healthy ageing and industrial biotechnology in our uh, research. We have around 45 research groups, most of them are working on plants, but we regard the microbial work as equally important. The strategic priorities are addressing issues such as food security, where we focus not only on the quantity of, uh, uh, and yield of the crops, but also on the quality and their resistance to pests and pathogens. As our climate changes, um, we are experiencing uh, the emergence of new pathogens of our crop plants, uh, particularly new fungal pathogens and new insect pests that are coming into the UK and creating new challenges uh, for stable food production. We, here at the John Innes, we are identifying natural resistances that occur in the diversity of, say, of wheat and barley to breed those in, help, help uh, breeding companies breed those resistances into those crop plants so that we have naturally resistant crop plants to these new and emerging pathogens and pests. To grow more food in the same uh, arable area, we really need to increase productivity of crops and that's going to require a lot of uh, new technologies and new agricultural processes to, to, to double the amount of food that we produce. The, the big challenge is to be able to do that in a, in a sustainable way and not increase the global carbon footprint of the food that we consume. One of the most important questions that we're working on at the John Innes Centre is how to develop more sustainable agriculture. And by this I mean agriculture which is not so dependent on inputs, agricultural inputs, for example, fertilizer, which potentially are pollutants or emitters of greenhouse gases. One of the things that scientists are working on more specifically in this area is how to develop cereals which are able to fix their own nitrogen. This is a hugely ambitious project and we don't expect to see it come to fruition for another 20 or 30 years. Yet if it does come to fruition, the payoffs for society, the benefits for society are enormous with respect to, uh, to uh, producing more sustainable agriculture. This type of long range research program wouldn't be possible without the strategic grant that we receive from the BBSRC which enables us to focus on long term strategic gains rather than short term problems. My research group has spent many years trying to understand how microbes cause disease on plants and looking at interactions between plants and microbes. And this is what led to my interest in plant natural products and their role in plant defence. The reason for studying plant metabolism, there are many good reasons to study plant metabolism. Plant metabolism underpins yield, food, how plants make food, food quantity and food quality. Uh, it influences uh, how they interact with organisms, for example, pollinators, seed dispersal agents, pests and diseases. And of course it can be exploited in many ways. Plants are a huge source of chemical diversity and their metabolism can be exploited uh, to, to make new fuels, uh, industrial materials, pharmaceuticals, um, as a source of enzymes, as a, a huge uh, repository of, of potential. Well, at the John Innes Centre, we uh, we've been around now for 100 years and it's very much founded on genetics and an understanding of genetics. And genetics is the foundations to plant breeding. Plant breeding is what was perceived as a natural process of improving crop varieties and something that's been going on for the last, since, since mankind started to uh, develop their own crop plants, we've been selecting for crop plants that give better yields or under better environments. And, and, and in the last hundred years, we've seen a marked improvement in our capability and, and speed by which we can breed new crop varieties for the, uh, for the problems that we face. And with new technologies, particularly genomics, we can greatly increase our capability to breed new varieties. And this is obviously very important because the speed by which we need to improve our crop varieties is very short. We need to keep improving crop varieties because we can't be complacent. They succumb to disease. We're living in a time where climate change is, is a, a, a cause of great concern. We don't know what the future will be like for crop plants. We don't know what climate change will do for plant disease. We don't know what the impact of climate change will be on plant metabolism. So we can't sit still, we have to keep moving. It's important to remember that the work that we do at the JIC isn't just research, it's also about training. 
we have around 80 PhD students on site and those are the people who will be tomorrow's scientists addressing tomorrow's problems. We take our training aspects very seriously and give, them a one, give the students a wonderful research environment in which they have not only state-of-the-art technical facilities but also a vibrant intellectual environment in which they can discuss ideas and interact with some of the world's leading scientists. Thank you.